back to the Carnahan fam where we talk about activities that you can do with your babies and toddlers, ways you can be a more productive and organized mom, and lifestyles and more. We are so excited you're here with us today. Today we are going to be wrapping up our developmental milestone series where every month we dive into developmental milestones for your babies and toddlers and show you activities that you can do to help your babies and toddlers reach those milestones. The time has come. Your kiddo is now getting ready to turn to or have newly turned to and we want to talk today about what that looks like with your brand new two-year-old. While this is our last developmental milestone series vlog, we do encourage you to check out our other toddler activity vlogs as well as our preschool curriculum and I'll be sure to link those videos in the description below so you can check those out and continue to play with us as your toddler grows and develops. By the way, if you haven't yet subscribed to our channel, take a second to go ahead and pause and do that right now. We have so many fun activities for your toddlers right now as well as as lined up here in the future so definitely hit subscribe stick around and have a ball playing with us that being said let's get started milestones that we are going to go over today are gross motor milestones, which are milestones that are related to your baby's large muscle groups, including arms, legs, trunk, core, and more. The first gross motor milestone for your 24-month-old is that your toddler is able to go up and come downstairs standing all by themselves. Now, we actually live in a one-story house, so the stairs that we use are the stairs on Christian's bunk bed right here. The best way to practice this is by giving your child exposure to stairs. Rather than carrying carrying them up and down the stairs, allow them the chance to be able to practice going up and down those stairs, definitely holding onto the rail the whole time and giving them the chance to be independent in building that skill. Sure, it takes more time going up and down the stairs that way, but it is well worth the practice for their development. The next gross motor milestone is that your child can stand on their tippy toes for a short period of time. Show them how to put their feet flat on the ground and push up on their toes. Practice walking in different ways when you are going about your daily life. Maybe from the bedroom to the kitchen, you practice walking on tippy toes and then from the kitchen to the living room you practice walking backward that way it feels like less work more play and overall more fun for your toddler the next set of milestones that we're gonna look at for your 24 month old are fine motor milestones and those are small muscle movements in the hands and fingers the first fine motor goal for your 24 month old is that your toddler is able to turn the fine pages one at a time in a soft book. Allowing your toddler to turn the pages while you're reading stories is a great way to practice this fine motor skill. Show your toddler how to separate the pages and turn them individually. With more and more practice, your toddler will become proficient in turning the pages one at a time. Our next fine motor milestone for your 24 month old is that your toddler is able to do a simple shape puzzle independently. Now a shape sorter or a puzzle works well for this activity and our puzzle happens to be misplaced. So we did it with Christian's name puzzle. When you're beginning the skill, help your toddler to be able to problem solve. When a piece doesn't quite fit, show them how they can turn the pieces back and forth a little bit, or maybe even flipping it over to see if it fits another way. These problem solving skills not only help your toddler to develop cognitively, but also help their little fingers to be able to manipulate those pieces in small ways so they fit just right in the puzzle. Our next two milestones are our language milestones, which are related to the way that your baby understands words as well as expresses them themselves. Now, before we get into this category, it's really important to remember that every child is so uniquely different especially in the language category so take this milestone with a grain of salt and understand who your child is individually but definitely if you have any concerns just talk to your pediatrician at about 24 months old your toddler should be able to speak in two to four word sentences that might be something like that's mine or I want some it is most commonly accepted that at about two years old your toddler should be able to say about 50 words your child's receptive vocabulary or their ability to understand words is far more developed than their expressive vocabulary. So in regards to what they're able to say, that should be around 50 words. And if you're wanting some strategies to help your toddler develop that expressive vocabulary a little bit more, we have another video, 10 easy strategies that you can implement at home each day in order to help your toddler to develop more expressive language skills. That's all we'll say about that. And let's move on to self-care milestones. Self-care milestones are related to the way that your toddler takes care of themselves. This includes feeding, dressing, as well as grooming. 
The first self-care milestone for your 24 month old is that your child is able to brush their teeth independently with minimal assistance. At 24 months old, while your toddler may be able to brush their teeth independently, it doesn't mean that they're going to do an adequate job in keeping up the level of oral hygiene. So we do still recommend that you brush your child's teeth as well. In our house, our rule is that mama does it first and then they can have a turn. This way I can get the job done and then they can have the reward of being able to do it themselves. The next self-care milestone is that your toddler is able to put simple shoes on by themselves. These are shoes that don't involve laces or other tight fitting pieces on their shoes. Rain boots and sandals are really the best shoe for your toddler to be able to start putting on independently. Practice this skill by giving your toddler opportunities to be able to do this themselves. Yes, it's going to take longer time to get out the doors every time. Be sure to plan an extra five or even 10 minutes before needing to get out the door in order to allow your toddler the time to be able to practice this skill independently. Do your best to sit back, giving your toddler the opportunity to do as much as they can independently, but be available to help them when they need it. Now we are going to move into social emotional milestones. And these are milestones that are related to the way that your toddler understands their own emotions as well as expresses them. And we all know at about this age, your toddler is full of very big emotions. Two of the most common things that you will see at this age is one, a growing need for independence, and two, more frequently or rather more adamantly exhibiting defiant behavior. Often these two social emotional milestones are really intermixed because your toddler is wanting to be so independent at this stage. Your toddler at this point has the will and the drive to master new skills and try new things. And this is so good and healthy for them. This means that your toddler has truly recognized that they are a separate entity themselves and that they feel safe and confident enough in taking safe risks. You might see this need for independence in what we call the me do stage. Your toddler may insist on buckling their car seat seatbelt all by themselves, getting themselves a cup of water. If you have potty trained, pushing their pants down by themselves or flushing the toilet by themselves. And if you do any of these independent tasks for them, this is where you see a lot of the growing defiant behavior. This is really a tricky time for a lot of parents and toddlers alike. So let's talk about five quick tips that you can use to get you and your toddler through these emotional milestones. Number one, relax and be reasonable where possible. Your toddler wants this independence, so make the time in your schedule to allow them the opportunity to have that independence. Struggles will happen, spills will happen, that is okay and it's a part of the process. Your toddler is learning so much in those stages, so give them the opportunity to do so. Number two, offer two and only two choices. A lot of the times that may be, would you like to put your shoes on yourself or would you like mama to do it for you? But if you insist on doing the activity for them, it might be, mama's gonna get your drink this time, would you like me to put milk or water in your cup? Two choices gives your child the freedom and the power to pick which one they want, and both choices are acceptable to you. Number three, make sure your home is toddler friendly. You want your home to be a place that your toddler can learn and grow. So cups, bowls, and plates in a low drawer where they are accessible to your toddler, keeping snacks on a low shelf so when it is an appropriate snack time, they can make that choice, and keeping their clothes in drawers at eye level will help your toddler to be able to have the independence that they are yearning for. Number four, give clear instruction. If there's something that you're wanting your toddler to do and they're resisting you, usually a one or two word instruction is enough input for their little brain. For example, when Christian is adamant about going outside, but he needs shoes on first, I'll often say, it looks like you want to go outside. You need your boots on first, boots, then outside. Ending that sentence with a clear instruction, boots, then outside, helps your toddler to identify what the clear instruction is. And finally, number five, be consistent. Toddlers thrive on routine and consistency. Consistency can help your toddler know when they can expect opportunities to be independent and will reduce your opportunities for defiant behavior. Finally, let's talk about cognitive milestones. Cognitive skills refer to your child's thinking, memory, and problem solving skills. The first cognitive skill is that your child is able to complete familiar sentences and rhymes. Often this might be in a familiar book that your child likes to read over and over and over again. Repeating stories and other simple rhymes often for your toddler will help them to build this memory skill. Five little ducks went out one day over the hill and and only four little ducks came back. 
The next cognitive skill for your 24 month old is that your toddler is able to follow two step directions. This is a set of directions that requires them to do two things. This might be push in your chair and put your plate in the sink or put your cards away and come sit down for dinner. Try to keep your directions as minimum and clear as possible so that your toddler is able to decipher exactly what you are wanting from them. Pick up your book and put it on the shelf. Pick up your cup and put it in the sink. Give me five. All right, that's about all for our developmental milestones today. As many of you know, my husband Quinn is a medical school student and we're gonna have him share really quick what your pediatrician's going to be looking for at your child's two year well child check. I just wanted to go over a couple of things that your pediatrician may be looking for as they ask you questions about your child. These are some of the red flags that just kind of tell a pediatrician we may want to do a little bit more testing, a little bit more screening. Some things to be a little bit concerned about are if your child at two years old doesn't use two word phrases. Another cause for concern would be if your child at two years old can't walk fluidly. Another cause for concern might be if your child is not copying actions or words. Another concerning sign would be if your child hasn't been able to pick up how to use certain common objects like a fork or a spoon or even a brush. One more thing that can be a red flag at any age is if your child starts to lose skills that they already had. If your child gains skills and then seems to lose them, that might be a cause for concern and you definitely want to have a talk with your pediatrician to see what might be causing that. As always, our reason for talking about these concerning signs isn't to scare you, but really just to encourage you to have an open communication with your pediatrician and make sure that you bring up anything that you might be concerned about. We are huge advocates for early intervention and we know it makes a huge difference. The earlier you start, the better. As always, thank you so much for watching our video. Be sure to hit that like button and go ahead and subscribe to our channel so you can see all the videos that we have coming out in the next couple weeks. Thank you again for watching. Until next time, bye.